Hey YouTube, this is Star Wars Dude 0515 and I am back. Hopefully better than ever before because I want to get 250 subs very quick so I can do a giveaway because I want to get some type of really cool figure and give it away to you guys. Uh, I probably will have a first and second prize winners. Anyway, I saw a free video 2000s video earlier. And pretty much all day, I decided, you know what, let's get back into the swing of things. Let's start Star Wars Dude 0515 back up and let's get him some of it. So I have pre-recorded about five or six reviews today. Five or six reviews today. I think five. And this would be my six. And um, to put back on my channel because I need, I want some more viewers. Um, my alternate channel that I have for a game that I play um, has more v video views than Star Wars Dudo 515 channel. I started that three months ago, four, four months ago, but, uh, you know, that's a, uh, that's kind of awkward. Uh, anyway, something has happened in the last week or so that I don't know if it's good or bad. I don't know what to call it. The good, the bad, I'll start with the bad news. The bad news, George Lucas sold Star Wars for $4 billion to Disney. The good news is, Disney will make a new movie. Uh, Star Wars Episode 7. I'm, I don't know what it'll be like, because I don't know if you could have more. Because Episode 6 pretty much ended it all. I mean, Darth Vader died... Uh, Lucas Skywalker uh, saves the universe from the Death Star. Uh, the Stormtroopers and their whole alliance has been crippled. Uh, pretty much all the evil is dead in the world. Well, I guess you can't say all of it. But the main evil is gone. So pretty much self-explanatory that pretty much ended it. And I don't think anybody since then has thought there would been be a new movie. And so far, there hasn't been. So, I don't know. Uh, when the next movie comes out in 2015, I'll be a senior. And I don't know if I can get a friend. I might just go by myself, but I would like to take a friend with me and watch that, but... I don't know, I might be considered a geek for that. Anyway, let's get on the review. I saw a free video, 2000 video today, and he had wax on it that he bought from a flea market for $5. Man, you got one of the best freaking deals. You, That guy got freaking screwed over. He sold you, or a girl, or whoever. He, they, got, they gave you an awesome figure for a cheap price. This pack came out in the 2009 Target exclusive uh, line when they released two packs around Christmas time. One pack had Booster, or no, Clone Trooper Boost, uh, Plukoon, a Rocket Battle Droid, and another clone, I forget his name. In my next, in a ne my next review, which I'll be doing that pack, I'll have his name for you, I'll do research for him. Anyway, this is the pack that they released. Now, you got one figure out of it when it came with four. Really, the Mace Windu was just something that they threw together with the extra plastic that they didn't really need, practically. I mean, really, it is. I mean, uh, alright, let's do the Macarena. Dun 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 dun. Hey, Macarena. I mean, hear that? It's like someone setting the tack on MW3 or something. He's got that. That's a great sound. He's like, hey, wait a minute, Cody, I gotta crack my back. Cody's over here, and he's like, oh, I'm stuck. That, that's pretty bad, I mean. I don't know if, if any of you guys have that Mace Windu, but that is a horrible sound. Uh, anyway, they also screwed up the wrist communicator. It's supposed to be on this side. Um, but maybe because he's got that sign or the Jedi symbol that they put it on this side though Most communicator cuffs are on this side. Just take a look at Cody's I oh, can't see it. His gun's blocking it. Crap. Um Yeah But he wasn't the greatest. I had to throw a, a Customized lightsaber on it because I'm in the middle of 
redoing my room and trying to reshelf all my figures to get them up and uh, I'll do it a little bit better. But yeah, this Mace Windu is practically crap. His own, he's got a little bit of articulation, but the legs, hip, swivel. Uh, hip or waist cracks. <laughs> it's got to have a spring in it because that's why it's clicking. So I'm guessing it's some type of ball hint or ball joint with a spring. Uh, swivel, swivel uh, wrist, ball hinged shoulders and elbows, and a ball jointed head. Not the greatest figure you'll ever get. If you're that desperate for a mace window, you can't find one. I guess you can buy him off of eBay for the whole price of 99 cents. So if you really want him, this type of mace window, you can find him. Don't worry, there's there's crap loads of them out there. Anyway, I just have him because he looks good with the pack. Alright, then that comes with it was, in 2009, if you didn't have a Commander Cody, this was the pack to get because not only did you get him for, I think this pack was like 18 bucks. You also got these two figures to go along with. Well, we'll go with Cody first. He's a standard Cody that came out through all the lines going all the way up until 2011's line where he has the ball hinged um, knees, ankles, swivel hips, ball jointed um, chest uh, or torso I should say, uh, ball hinged uh, hand, wrist Sorry, I haven't done this for a while. I'm, I'm a little rusty. Uh, elbows and shoulders, a ball jointed head, and uh, it, it hinders on this arm because he's got that anten antenna thing. He also has it on his helmet. I don't know why he needs two. I didn't. What? And actually, he's got three. He's got that, that, and that. So that's three communication devices all in, all in one. Maybe this helps him a little bit more. I don't know. Anyway, I. You know, I I did have a Cody then, so practically I just had two Codys, and I actually customized one into like a blue Commander Cody, and I think I named him Commander, like, uh, Snack. It was had E K at the end of it. Don't remember him. He's up in he's up in my shelving someplace, uh, but I I have his name under him. Anyway, yeah, that's a practical. That's pretty much the same Cody that we all have, I think. I'm pretty sure all of us have him unless you sold him and got the new one. So we'll go up with a figure that they've uh, released uh, a crap load of this year, uh, but they've done it with him in the ATRT, um, what do they call that, Trooper? ATRT Trooper's uh, uh, armor with a different style helmet. And he came with... Uh, Ball or ball jointed hips, but were like had a swivel movement, and they were really cool. I wish they'd put them on all the figures because it makes them have really good mobility and makes them have realistic like legs. Anyway, he has a Fu Manchu, and I love clone figures that have a little bit of detail because I don't like them all looking like Cody without the scar. You know that. Gets a little bit boring after a while. Uh, they did kind of change the head sculpt, and now I guess you could say with the new figures coming out that will have this type of head, I should call it the Echo design because they started designing them like the new Echo that came in that battle pack with uh, Blitz and uh, Five. They've done it like his the his head style or Five's or Five's head style from in the prototype armor. Or, uh, the training gear. Anyway, he's got the same articulation as Cody, uh, just a little bit different of a paint scheme. Uh, ankles, elbows, below, like, same as his, but his is a square, and his is a rectangle uh, at the lower waist. Uh, hands are always painted, elbows are painted, shoulders are painted, and he's got like the sides of the chest painted, where I don't think Cody has it, so no. Um, this, I think he's part of the Ghost Platoon. I have no idea what that marking is on the helmet. I've researched it, and I know it is some type of flying, uh, like, um, beast. And, you know, if, call me crazy, but I think it might be the one that they, um, uh, 
Obi-Wan was riding on and Order 66 happened and he got shot off of it by uh, ATTE and I want that thing. I want one of those so bad. You can't really find him in all, with all the pieces on Amazon or eBay, but I want one of those. As well as I want a turbo tank, just never got around to it, to getting one. So yeah, he's a really good figure. He came with one of those flimsy pieces of crap DC-15 rifles, so I switched him and gave him a different one. Still same model, just thicker and more realistic. He has like a, like one, but it's got like a turret, like, style at the barrel of the gun and let's get to the waxer figure and waxer is really cool looking his helmet design is really nice uh it's got all the tally marks like uh rex has all over his body armor with the newest edition of him that black thing right there that black marking uh do you remember on ryloth when they are taking it that oh that commander droid that that the over Overseer droid, I guess you could call him. That is him. I guess Waxer might have taken him out. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing because I think that's why it's on there. And he's got more tally marks on the other side and a mark going up the fin and the uh, chin part or the chin guard of the helmet. He's got a little bit of a sole patch from it. Uh, same, same paint scheme on him as there is on Boyle, but he's got holsters, and he's built like Clone Trooper Jack that came in the Target exclusive the, uh, that came that spring that was released with Jack and Yoda, and the reason that's why he has that hole punched, or the, the spring before that, I'm sorry, the spring before he was released, where they released uh, Jack with the shoulder strap with the uh, extra ammo clips to go in his DC-15 pistols and the grenade that's stuck in the back here. Um, so yes, and pretty much the only thing he's got different from these two figures is different head sculpt. He's got the jack with a soul patch and the fire holsters. So yeah guys, that's this video. Uh, I really do like these figures. This was a great pack. If you guys can find these two figures anywhere, I would buy them uh, immediately, um, especially if they're under the price of $20, because these figures show up on Amazon, eBay, very, very rarely, and when they do, they are going for high prices, um, very high prices uh, indeed. But anyway, guys, uh, if you have the time, please drop a like and a favorite on this video. I mean, it's free and it's right there, so uh, please do that. Um, I will, because the whole video was pretty good. I'm not a big Lord of the Rings fan, but I did, did enjoy the Star Wars part of it. I'm going to put a link down in the description to free videos, uh, news video, and uh, so you can watch that because that is where I found and was inspired to do this because I was going to release a different review but instead I guess I'll release this one but um yeah these are really cool figures guys so go ahead and buy them and uh please 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 if you haven't already sub because it is free alrighty guys this is Star Wars Dude 0515 signing out see ya